Okay, here we are with NZ7's captain DJ Forbes. Hey DJ, how's it going mate? Good, good, good. That's the way, right? We've got some uh, questions here from some of our Twitter followers out there, so if I just run through some of these with you, and um, we'll take it from there. Okay, first question that's come in uh, is about Nigel Hunt, um, to see if he's still around and if he's um, looking to come back into you know, camp at all. You know what's up with him these days? He probably still misses the sevens a, a little bit. You know, we always get the odd texts from him coming through, but um, he's actually playing um, rugby, playing 15s in, in France at the moment. So uh, he's uh, playing for a team called Grenoble, who's, uh, and he's actually doing pretty well. So um, I, don't, I don't think we'll be seeing him for a little while. Um, he's um, definitely still got a lot of playing years left, but um, I think he's enjoying his time in France. Okay. Um, how difficult a challenge will the likes of England and Samoa be in the NZI 7 starting on Friday, do you think? I think, um, I mean, any team's going to be hard. Um, I think for England, the you know, red hot at the moment, they're playing well and they've got a, a good core group that's, um, I guess, um, uh, fully professional now. They're all contracted, so it's, there's going to be a lot of hard tasks this weekend. But I think for us, you know, the key focus is going to be um, our pool games. Obviously, Scotland, Argentina, and Papua New Guinea. So we don't want to look too far ahead, and we'll be uh, definitely giving it our best shot um, on day one, and hopefully set us up for a, a good day two. Cool. Now we've got a question here from Viva de Bungie. Um Would you would you ever like to be in the stands instead of in the middle? Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> it's been a few years when I wish I was in the stands. Um, it's just uh, you know a great atmosphere, and I think you know for me, uh, this is my sixth time in Wellington. Um, I've never been in the stands ever before, um, so um, you know, obviously I, if, I, if I get the chance once my career is over in sevens, I'll definitely be out there and, and having a good time. But um, you know, it's, it's definitely it's exciting, you know, being in the middle and playing. But um, I know a lot of you out there in the stands aren't really paying attention to the rugby and <laughs> doing other things. So it'd be good to you know get amongst that as well. Cool. Now a guy called Brent Cameron sent in a question down, and do, do you think you're going to be around come Olympics? Um, so when's that? 2016 16, in yeah. Brazil. I guess if I um, if I was a, um, I guess a fully contracted sevens player and only play sevens, I could probably last another six years. But um, you know, I play both codes. So from December to June, I'm I'm playing sevens, and from June to December, I'm playing fifteens. So, um, you know, still trying to push for higher honours. So um, you know, who knows? I might I might be able to turn up as a water boy or a technical advisor. But <laughs> uh, six years from now, and, and still playing it. It'll be um, pretty, pretty daunting if I am still around. <laughs> cool. Now, yeah. so what the rack sends in the question, um, what position do you play in 15s? Um, I'm probably a, a specialist number seven, uh, but I can play six, seven, eight. So um, for counties, I've, I've played all three positions um, and just, I guess, um, you know, taking as many opportunities as I can you know, to, um, I guess, push the higher honours in 15s. Cool. And... Um, do you think there's any future All Blacks within the um, seven squad at the moment, um, based on what you've seen? Yeah, there's, there's definitely going to be guys coming through, I think. Um, if you look at the squad now, the All Blacks now, there's um, a good percentage of boys that have actually come through the seven. So um, yeah, there's bound to be players. That right now, I, I wouldn't be um, able to name them because I, I probably want to name all, all, all 15 of the boys. So, um, But there's definitely a lot of talent, and um, this is you know, the perfect stage for them to showcase that. So. Um, there's, there's going to be some good talent coming through. Okay, and so now we've got um, Jofa Jaffa has a question on um, do you think the inclusion into the Olympics of, of the Sevens has changed the way of you know of how you guys treat Sevens or the setup at all in terms of how Titch approaches things? Has it made it more serious or anything like that? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, um, Titch is, is pretty old school, so um, you know, He's going to stick to what he believes in. I think um, the NZ, uh, you have really jumped on board in, in the last couple of years. I've obviously seen um, how much importance is, is going to lie on, on uh, the Olympic Games. And so there's going to be a lot of pressure, I guess, on New Zealand as a country to perform because um, you would assume to win a, a, gold, a gold medal at the Olympic Games would, would claim you as the best in the world. So um, obviously, as far as All Blacks are concerned, there's a lot of countries, um, a lot of people that um, say we're the best in the world. Um, and saying that, you know, to go to Olympic Games and if uh, a team like England or, or um, Samoa or Fiji won that, um, we'd be um, likely to say that they're the, you know, the rugby world champs. So um, there's going to be a lot of emphasis on, on us putting, um, I guess, a lot of time and resources into 
to Simmons to make sure that when it does come to the Olympics, we're you know, giving it the best opportunity because, um, you know, I mean, a World Cup's a World Cup, but you know, to win a gold medal at an Olympic game, surely would be um, up there as well. Cool. And last question from Natasha is, um, how do you like playing at home compared to other countries? Um, home's always special. Uh, you know, I, I don't think you can ever um, compare it with any other tournaments. I mean, um, I, I love playing at like Hong Kong with a full capacity crowd of like 60 or 70,000. But um, you know, Wellington, the Cape Town is, is always jam packed with you know close to 40,000. And um, but, but to know your your family and friends are in the crowd and you're at home is, just makes it that, a bit more special. And I guess it adds a little bit of pressure, but that's what you know we all play rugby for is for those exciting times and for the big occasions like, like Wellington Simmons. Mate, that's awesome, and um, look forward to catching up with you a lot more over the next five days and uh, taking more questions Sick. from all these guys. Cheers, mate. Cheers.